Hey guys, what's going on? Rounded Tic Tac here. This is like the 38th time I'm recording this because I keep end up blabbering on because I'm very excited about this update and a lot of cool stuff. Uh, so let's get right into it. Number one, please take a moment and just go down in the comment section and tell me what you want to see next. We just got like eight heroes and five weapons or vice versa. And uh, I want to know what you guys want to see next. I don't want to make content you don't want to see. So please take a moment, go down in the comment section and let me know what you want to see next. What do you want me to break down and cover next? Um, and lastly, I know that a lot of people aren't going to like this weapon set because it all uses energy cells. I know this, I'm going to avoid that fact. Since all of the weapons do, uh, it's very much like Neon set version 2 for me uh, because all of those use energy cells too. Uh, I'm going to avoid that fact that they do and just take it out of the equation because I have some insider information. Uh, Magist, uh, the community manager for Fortnite, did say in my stream today that uh, he is going to talk to the devs about the bacon thing with energy cells. He didn't say anything more than that, just it is on their radar. So that's a good thing. So once that hopefully gets taken care of or reduced, these weapons will be even better. So why am I talking about the Blastertron 9000? The Blastertron 9000, out of all of the weapons I played with today, and I played with all of them, uh, really stood out to me for its usability and versatility. It does a decent job, more than decent job, at any kind of damage you can think of and it fits my playstyle personally to a T. It is a fast firing, hard hitting, single shot but full auto weapon that is good on every single hero that I tried it on and I tried it on a ton. But let's take a look at what we can compare it to. Number one, it doesn't have a scope. If you've been following this channel at all for any amount of time for any of the weapon reviews, you know that I hate scopes in this game. I think they're useless. Uh, the gameplay just doesn't uh, really Really work well with a weapon with a scope in this game so I try to avoid them at all costs I really like the old Betsy but I never use the spyglass a day in my life I think the only one I have is still level 20 uh, just because it has a scope this one does not and let's take a look at what it can actually compare to the only other weapon that I could think of is the dragonfly you may remember this video or this weapon from my sniper video and it used to be my favorite weapon in the game on the low i didn't use it much but i just like how it shoots it's more like a dmr or like a, a longbow from apex legends fast firing sniper rifle even though it's classified as a sniper rifle both of these they feel more like a hunter killer or a raptor or something like that. So let's just look at these disgusting numbers that the Blastishon has compared to the old school Dragonfly. Uh, DPS, we're looking at 74,000 versus 42. Damage, 18 versus 27. Headshot, 37 versus 41. Critical hit chance, 38 to 43. 210 to 345. 225 to 2.7. And 17 to 14. The range is 10,000 and the Dragonfly has a slightly faster 0.4 seconds reload speed. Now, as you can see by just this chart, uh, the Blastertron absolutely destroys this in every single category except two. Uh, simply because it has a higher base damage and a faster fire rate, the weapon's going to be better. Uh, if you take a look at the rolls, you can see this old school here with one crit damage, one crit rating with a mag size with a conditional damage. And down here we have, this is how I chose to roll mine, energy, crit damage, magazine size, crit rating, crit damage. And now here's the fun part. There are a couple of different perks that this weapon can roll with. This is one of them. Each shot fired grants 1.8 critical rating for us. Uh, for one second stacks up to 15 times. 1.8 times 15 equals 27% extra crit rating on top of the one crit rating here. You get like 55% crit rating. You crit every other shot. It's fantastic. Uh, the other perk that I do have on one of them is that it shoots uh, on kill every four seconds. An AOE ring disperses and hits enemies in that ring. To be honest, I kind of like the other one, the other perk better because it adds some AOE to a single shot weapon. But if you're using it to kill mist monsters, this is definitely what you want. It does a decent 
job. So that is the base stats of the Blastertron. Let's go into some builds you might want to try. Now, number one, let's take a look at Saurian Might with Rex. You all know that every one second adds 9% of current health uh, to range, your next ranged weapon hit. We need to use Blast for the Past here, looking at about 1.2 million health in a full party. We have Saurian Hide and Saurian Focus here, just for the energy regen and to activate Blast from the Past. We have Going Coconut, so we can keep our health up uh, to that 1.2 million and get the most damage per bullet. In a Pinch is here, uh, just for a faster reload speed you don't need it 100 percent you can roll so many things into this build if you want to uh you can try sure shot for the critical damage you can do the 17 percent quick scope you can do locked and reloaded there's so many things that you can do in this build that that's what i really like this weapon for plasma arc i was just trying it out and it works pretty well but there's probably a better roll you can do here you can actually make this build quite powerful if you roll all the correct stats but i know you guys and you don't always want to see that so i was going for average use weapon we take a hero that might be decent with the weapon and just add in some survivability and utility perks into his build and even with that the build is fantastic the gun hits like a truck it shoots fast it shoots quick you keep your health up with going coconuts in a pinch makes a faster reload on an empty clip it's a lot of fun to play with Another build that you can definitely check it out with is the low-key OG Zenith, where he's going to, by the way, I have a video coming out on this guy, he's going to be meta. Whatever hard content they're about to give us for the new event for endgame players, this guy is guaranteed, guaranteed to be on your team. The whole reason they nerfed decoys in the first place was for stun locking enemies with the decoys. This guy can do the exact same thing. And the weapon, the Blastatron 9000 is perfect for him a fast firing hard hitting sniper rifle um with no scope you cannot ask for more on this hero icy shot sniper critical freezes uh freezes the enemy for 1.6 and applies affliction we're using preemptive strike here just because we're trying to get the most damage possible uh in a pinch sure shot quick scope make it rain locked and reloaded this actually might be one of the better loadouts you can use with the blastatron it hits like a truck it's fantastic to use the damage on it the uh, crowd control ability all of it is really really strong and really really good plus he's an outlander so he's got teddy he's got phase shift he's got shock tower if you want to play him that way maybe only bring sure shot and quick scope and then buff up his uh shock tower or his teddy there's a ton of different options you can do here again the reason why i wanted to cover this weapon first because it's just so versatile uh the other one you can do of course is the sniper bunny which is basically something like this and then you take something like this and then you take out uh, this guy over here and you just switch them for the sniper bunny and you'll be looking at 300 K plus crits uh, with a fire rate of over seven which is kind of crazy uh, for a sniper rifle that adds up to a lot of damage so the build would kind of probably look like this and you would add uh, affliction you would add zenith probably back here something like that this is kind of what the build would look like you're aiming for the head you're you're you have higher base damage you have this is an extra 32 percent there's just a lot of stuff going on here uh, but not a lot of people like to play this character and, and in fact i got a really really terrible comment on this hero when i made the video so i'm not going to go into him too much the last thing i want to show you guys is how well it works even on a character that doesn't have any perks whatsoever for him so we're playing eddie the the new constructor nothing in the build has any sort of buff to a sniper rifle or anything this weapon on a constructor if if this is your play style you put your base down you sit back and you snipe you can use this to murder absolutely murder miss monsters uh smashers doesn't matter this gun hits hard enough to where it controls the enemies now it's not going to be used for a weapon like you know taking down an entire uh 
horde of enemies that's not what it's meant for it's for single targets long engagements like far engagements and to be able to kill them fast enough to where they can't really get a shot off and this does it for you with this build you're hitting for about 150,000 damage per shot on crits and about 60,000 with no crits which either way because of how fast the gun shoots and how accurate it is and the range is perfectly fine their damage isn't off the chain but the accuracy and the range make up for it plus again no scope which i know i'm not the only one who really dislikes those scopes so any which way you slice it this weapon is actually pretty damn good if you don't have the bundle bus or the rat king which to be fair to make those guns the most efficient they can be you need to play rio with a certain kind of build and play style in mind and you can really only use those weapons or use weapons that are made specifically for that build uh this is the complete opposite it is an all-purpose general use weapon that competes with some of the higher higher end weapons in the game uh it may not be the best or it may not beat them but it's definitely worth picking up and grabbing especially if you're new to the game especially if you don't have a missed monster weapon this can absolutely be used here lastly it is one of the better weapons for a defender to use uh, it basically has auto aim it shoots super fast hits super hard and has enough impact to where you will get a stun occasionally from the uh, from your defender into a mist monster it's definitely worth checking out and picking up I guarantee you'll like the weapon how it shoots if your play style is anything like mine but I mean there's almost 18,000 people here who have some sort of uh, inclination to play like my play style uh, so definitely check it out and grab it pick it up let me know what you guys think about it please i'm very very interested and that is the blastatron 9000 the hard-hitting fast-firing decent very very decent mist monster murderer if you do not have the rat king or the bundle bus something like that definitely pick this weapon up if you need something for far range to take on the mist monsters uh this is where that gun shines i think i covered everything we got the builds we got the rolls on the weapons we have a bunch of loadouts you can try we even did a loadout where there's no perks in there i think i covered every single thing you guys could possibly want let me know how i did down in the comments below if you are new to this channel Please think about subscribing. I post videos like this, weapon breakdowns, trap tunnel guides, and hero loadouts about five times a week. We would love to have you as part of the pack. If you like streams, I stream about five days a week at twitch.tv slash rounded tic tac. Come by, say what's up. And lastly, if you've made it to this part in the video, thank you so much for your support. But if you would like to support any further, you can use creator code OO tic tac OO. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Let me know which one that's going to be, by the way, in the comment section. Tic Tac out.